In the golden glow of nostalgia, where the crackle of black and white meets the timeless rhythm of laughter, there exists a treasured portal to the past. The iconic 1951 TV series, I Love Lucy. Remember that electrifying moment when you stumbled upon it for the very first time. Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon or a late night rendezvous with the television set. Your curiosity peaked, you tuned in, and suddenly, the zany antics of Lucy Ricardo burst forth, an explosion of charm and humor that transcended the decades. It was as if Lucy herself reached through the screen and tugged at your heartstrings, leaving an indelible mark on your memory. Ah, those unforgettable moments that stitched themselves into the fabric of your mind. The uproarious grape-stomping mishap, Lucy's side-splitting foray into a chocolate factory, and the infectious camaraderie of the ensemble cast. Every episode unfurled like a comedic tapestry, woven with slapstick glee, impeccable timing, and a dash of that enchanting 50 seconds flare. Lucy and Ricky's chemistry was magnetic, a roller coaster of emotions that resonated across generations. And who could ever forget Ethel and Fred, those endearing partners in crime? adding their own touch of hilarity to the mix. But let's delve deeper, shall we? Behind the scenes, I Love Lucy was a trailblazer, defying norms and birthing a sitcom dynasty. From being the first show to feature a pregnant character to its pioneering use of the three-camera setup, this gem laid the foundation for modern television as we know it. So, if you're ready to peek behind the curtain and discover the lesser-known gems that make this show shine even brighter, keep reading. So, grab your metaphorical time machine, and let's journey back to the heyday of classic television, where I love Lucy reigns supreme. Get ready to uncover the hidden facets, trivia, and tidbits that embellish the legacy of this beloved series. Let's explore the enchanting 50 seconds world that captured your heart, and still tickles your funny bone to this day. And remember, it all began with that very first encounter, a serendipitous collision of entertainment and emotion. Now, let's dive into the realm of random facts about I Love Lucy, where the ordinary becomes extraordinary and the mundane is tinged with magic. Buckle up, dear reader, as we traverse through time and trivia, celebrating the brilliance of a show that continues to enchant and endure. Lucille Ball's protective shield, defending Ricky's accent on I Love Lucy in the golden age of television. One show illuminated the screens with laughter and heart, I Love Lucy. Among its myriad facets, a particular gem shines a light on Lucille Ball's steadfast dedication to protecting her husband, Ricky Ricardo's Cuban heritage from the shadows of ridicule. Lucille ingeniously devised a safeguard that not only upheld the show's comedic essence, but also fended off any offensive undertones. Under Ball's guidance, a rule was woven into the very fabric of the series. This mandate stipulated that solely Lucy had the privilege to jest about Ricky's accent and playful linguistic missteps. No other character dared to venture into that territory, safeguarding Ricky's cultural background from becoming a casualty of thoughtless humor. With this rule in place, Lucille Ball demonstrated a deep respect for diversity and the power of humor when wielded responsibly. Her foresight was a beacon, ensuring the show's comedy remained inclusive and inoffensive, while fortifying the dynamic chemistry that made I Love Lucy an enduring classic. The rule not only protected the show's integrity, but also illuminated a facet of Ball's character, her commitment to equity and fairness. This artful approach resonated with viewers, fostering a connection that transcended generations. Decades later, the legacy of I Love Lucy continues to shine a testament to the vision of its creators. The show's deliberate decision to celebrate cultural differences while warding off ridicule stands as a testament to its enduring relevance in an evolving world. It's an untold chapter of television history, revealing how Lucille Ball's wisdom and sensitivity added depth to a comedy that still tickles our funny bones today. This article was the evolution of I Love Lucy opening credits, unveiling the heart in the annals of television history, I Love Lucy stands as an iconic pillar of comedy and entertainment. Its timeless humor and indelible characters have secured its place in our cultural tapestry. Yet, hidden within its legacy lies a captivating transformation in the show's opening credits, a journey that unveils intriguing insights into its broadcasting history. Originally premiering in 1951, the series graced the screens with animated clay figures of Lucille Ball 
and Daisy Arnaz, accompanied by their sponsor's wares, most notably Philip Morris Cigarettes. A symbiotic dance between commerce and artistry, these credits played a pivotal role in the show's sponsorship-driven landscape. Fast forward to 1958, a year marking the inception of reruns on CBS and a striking metamorphosis takes center stage. The beloved heart motif, entwined with the series' title, emerged as a beacon of rerun enchantment. This symbol of affection, embedded in both the opening and closing credits, seamlessly encapsulated the warmth and laughter that viewers had come to associate with the Ricardo family. But why the switch from animated figures to the heart? The answer might well reside in the shifting sands of television's commercial landscape. As syndication took hold, the original clay figures seemed out of step with the changing times. A Valentine heart, a universal emblem of love and connection, bridged the temporal gap, evoking nostalgia while effortlessly weaving its magic into the hearts of new and returning fans. As the heart took its place, a nuanced tribute to continuity and change emerged. The heart was not merely an arbitrary addition, it was an homage to the show's enduring love and laughter, as well as a fitting homage to Lucille Ball and Daisy Arnaz's dynamic partnership, both on screen and off. In this tale of evolving credits, I Love Lucy mirrors the trajectory of television itself, an art form intertwined with commercial interests, adapting to shifting norms while preserving its essence. The heart, radiant and constant, reminds us that some things, like the enduring charm of I Love Lucy, remain timeless, regardless of the era. Vivian Vance's weight claws, a playful pact with Lucy. A legendary friendship, woven through laughter and camaraderie, was the cornerstone of the iconic 1951 TV series, I Love Lucy. Vivian Vance, acclaimed for her role as Ethel Mertz, shared a curious anecdote that kept the industry buzzing for decades. According to Vance, her contract allegedly contained an intriguing clause. She must weigh 10 pounds more than her co-star, Lucille Ball. While Vance and Ball's off-screen bond remained steadfast, the validity of this claim lingered as a playful enigma. Both actresses would often jest about this clause on talk shows and interviews, leaving the world to speculate about its authenticity. The clause, whether factual or mere banter, added a layer of mirth to their dynamic, endearing relationship. Despite the whimsy of the weight clause, the heartwarming camaraderie Vance and Ball shared was undeniable. Laughter echoed on set, and their performances resonated through the screens into living rooms across the nation. An enduring testament to the power of friendship and humor, their connection became emblematic of I Love Lucy's lasting legacy. In the twilight of Vance's life, her retelling of this clause continued, a lighthearted testament to the bond that defined one of television's most beloved duos. As the years went by, their laughter remained a source of joy, reminding us that amidst the glitz and glamour, genuine connections endure. This story remains a treasure trove of the entertainment industry's history, where the lines between fiction and reality blur in the most delightful way. I Love Lucy, Hollywood's timeless backdrop in the pantheon of television classics. I Love Lucy stands as an indelible icon of 1950s entertainment. Earning its place in history, the show was lauded in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Shows of All Time, securing the second spot. Only the sitcom juggernaut Seinfeld managed to eclipse its fame, reigning as the top program of the 1950s. The allure of I Love Lucy extended beyond its comedic brilliance. During the Hollywood arc, where the Ricardos and the Mertzes embarked on West Coast adventures, a distinctive detail emerged. The backdrop outside their hotel suite replicated the real view from the apex of the Dezilu lot on Cahuenga Boulevard, a masterful touch that tied the on-screen narrative to the very stages where the majority of episodes were shot, just blocks away on Vine Street. Even today, over five decades later, the landmarks etched onto that backdrop persist at Hollywood and Vine, a testament to the show's enduring legacy. While the Capitol Records building, mid-construction, eluded the frame, the Beverly Palms Hotel emerged as a fictional establishment that merged elements of famed real-world accommodations like the Hollywood Plaza Hotel, the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, and the Beverly Hills Hotel. This intricate weave of reality and fiction created a tapestry of familiarity and novelty that captivated audiences. With characters as beloved as the show itself, it's worth noting that Fred and Ethel's full names, Frederick Hobart Mertz and Ethel Louise Roberta Me Potter Mertz, were revealed in all their charming complexity. 
These monikers, a fusion of the mundane and the distinctive, mirrored the show's own balance of ordinary moments and uproarious hilarity. I Love Lucy remains a paragon of television brilliance, a show that married humor with innovation and Hollywood with reality. A tale spun on sound stages, but woven into the very fabric of entertainment history. As we bid adieu, let us traverse back through the corridors of time to that enchanting era, when laughter echoed through monochrome screens, and a vivacious redhead named Lucy danced her way into our hearts. The year was 1951, and television screens flickered with the irresistible charm of I Love Lucy. With each episode, we embarked on a delightful escapade into the zany world of Lucy Ricardo, the uncontainable mischief she brewed, and the unwavering love between her and Ricky that withstood even the most comedic catastrophes. As the curtains draw to a close, consider the moments that illuminated your own life as Lucy's antics illuminated screens. Did you find echoes of Lucy's determination in your own pursuits? Or perhaps her contagious joy and resilience struck a chord, reminding you that laughter is indeed the best medicine. Those shared chuckles with family, friends, and even strangers bind us in a unique camaraderie, connecting generations in a timeless, laughter-filled embrace. Now, as you reflect upon the magic spun by the indelible charm of I Love Lucy, I invite you to share your cherished memories and musings, allowing your voice to join the chorus of countless others who have found solace, joy, and connection through this timeless show. Whether it's the uproarious grape-stomping scene or Lucy's iconic Vinnie Manave Gammon performance that tugs at your heartstrings, your stories are the threads that weave the tapestry of this beloved series into the fabric of our cultural heritage. Thank you, dear traveler of nostalgia, for allowing us to stroll down memory lane together. Your time and your thoughts are treasures, preserving the laughter and legacy of I Love Lucy for generations to come. So, before we part ways, remember that it's not just a show, it's a reminder that in every misadventure, in every laughter-filled blunder, there's a little bit of Lucy in all of us. With heartfelt gratitude and a warm smile, 